Hello, how's it, how's it, how's it, everybody? How is everybody doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Let me pull up everything. Hello, hello. Hello, JN. How's it? How's it, JN? Iron Spotty Gaming. Hi, hi, hi. How you doing? Luca Florin Cludio. Cludu Cludio. I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. How are you, Luca? Hey. I'm new in the game, so I'm hearing. Oh, so I'm learning. Been watching your streams. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Ion Spotty. Welcome to the addiction that is City Skylines. I hope you will enjoy your stay. <laughs> this game can take up hours upon hours upon hours of your time. But I certainly hope you learned something from me. And I am glad that you are at least learning something so far. That is fantastic. Hello, Ek. Egvalesa, Eg, Egvale, Egvalesa. I've probably butchered that, right? I'm so sorry. How are you? How are you? How's the JN? I am well, thank you very much, JN. I trust you are having an awesome, awesome day. JJ, hello to you too. Hello to you too. How are you? How are you? You sound like a homie. Are you from SA? Well, I guess if you're from SA, then yes, I am from SA. Audrey S. How is everything? Everything is well on my side, Audrey. How are things on your side? I'm reading your name wrong. I'm so sorry. It's not Audrey. It's Andre. My apologies, Andre. How are you, Andre? Things are well on my side. Super glad to have you on the stream with me tonight. Dodge, how's it, Dodge? Hey, Sanctum, what is your favorite city that you have ever built? Oof, that is quite the question. What is my favorite city? Let me actually think about this for a moment. See, all my cities have a special place for me, I guess. Uh, between Little Town, uh, City of Tando, and Nomersburg, if I was to pick which one is my favorite, which one is my favorite? You know, I, I, th oh, it's so hard to pick. But if I was to pick, if I was to pick, I would, I would probably pick Tando. And the reason I would pick Tando is because it is something that I have wanted to do from the moment i received oh i first got my hands on this game i've always always wanted to build like a massive city and i've never been able to do that in the past because my system could never support it so now that i'm able to build it i am super happy and i really like the way tando is turning out so i think of all the three even though little town is the reason why sanctum is sanctum everybody seems to recognize the little town I think City of Tando is my personal favorite project. I think so. Simulation Gaming, how you doing? How you doing? JN says I was in quarantine until Monday, so now I am free and happy again. My girlfriend and daughter got infected through me and are still in quarantine. That's a bit sad for them. Shame. So sorry to hear that. But we all haven't been sick. At all, so all is good. And I hope none of you get sick. I hope they both make a speedy recovery and you are all able to return back to your normal lives. Hope you are good. You're feeling you're feeling great. That is fantastic. I am glad to hear that. Hey, concrete. Welcome, welcome, concrete. How you doing? How you doing? SG, the zoo in Nomersburg was so cool. I loved the elevated walkways and bits of water. Reminded me of East London Zoo all run down. Thank you so much, Frankie Mon. You know, interestingly, I've actually never been to the East London Zoo, hey? 
as much as I spent so much time in East London, I actually never went to the East London Zoo, which is shocking, actually. Hi, Sasant. Sasant T. I'm pronouncing it in my English way. If it's not Sasant, I'm so sorry. But hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on the stream today. So I am hoping that today we can make a bit more progress on here. This will be the last live stream that I am going to do with the rebuilding of the space. So if we can try and finish off this in this stream, that will be fantastic. If we don't, I will probably finish it off camera because my plan is next week. Next week is episode 30 of Nomersberg, which is generally a sort of a break episode for me. And then afterwards, I want to get back into City of Tando and continue the expansion. So I want to finish off the the gardens in this area and maybe develop out this place a bit. And then at some point, hopefully soon, at some point, we will work on the airport way back there now that the airport DLC is out. Now, if you haven't seen my City of Tando, I say City of Tando, my latest Nomersberg episode... I did mention, I know, everybody is going airport crazy. Unfortunately, I am not having that craze. I am not feeling that craze at the moment. So, I am sticking to building what I am inspired to build, at least for now. And the last thing I want to do is force myself to build an airport and then I end up not being happy with what I build. So, that is the reason why you're not seeing an airport from me. There will be an airport at some point or the other, but I want it to be when I am actually feeling inspired for it so that I can try and hopefully build a decent airport and not just an airport for the sake of building an airport. Okay, so that is that. Next weekend, I mean, I can announce, I suppose, as early as possible. Next weekend, there will very likely not be a stream. Not very likely. That won't be a stream. I'll be taking a break from the stream next weekend. And then we'll be back the week after. Alrighty. So, just wanted to get those out there. Now we can get cracking to see what we can do in today's build. So, I had that hang overhanging hotel. I want to really keep that overhanging hotel. So, we... we going to stick it down here still maybe a little further out this way and then i want either this block or this block to be a oh that's not straight which one is the problematic one i want either this block or that block to be utilities in this area okay that is very interesting. I don't get why the, these things always act up when it comes to the keys. It's so annoying. Every time you, you build it like next to a key, it just decides to do its own thing. Like, look at that. Even though this is supposedly straight, it's not actually straight. Blech. That is super annoying. Let's see if I... Just if I move it, uh, do, do, do. Frankie Mon says, I'm not missing out on much. <laughs> You're so better. Thank you. <laughs> Saturn says, I am correct. Thank you. I am glad to hear that. It's actually a relief to not see you also building an airport right now. I have literally only seen airport related. City Skylines vids this week. Yeah, hey. So I'm I'm actually exactly the same. I am a little airport over uh, fatigued. I must be honest. Don't get me wrong. Those who have been building the airports have been doing an amazing job. I think they are fantastic. Some of the stuff that I've seen out there. But yeah, I'm also a little just a tad bit a uh, tad bit airport fatigued. 
And there's so much airport. There's so many airports out there. Like the stuff that people have built is just, it's amazing. So, yeah, if you feel if you feel like consuming airport content, man, there are plenty from those who did live streams like two dollars twenty to what people like Imperator have put out. So check those out. They are absolutely absolutely fantastic. I do have an issue with my airports though. Can I actually show you guys this? I don't know if anybody has experienced this. In my airports tab, right? Oh, look at that. Now it's there. My concourses were not appearing. In fact, concourses don't appear for me in Nomersburg. And I don't understand why. The only way I can actually access the concourses is via Find It. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that issue. I think I must have a mod in in Nomersburg that's creating issues. Hey, Talonan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? Hope all is well. Hope you are good. Early, early Sunday morning for you. I hope it is or it has been a good Sunday morning. Ooh, look at that. There's a huge elevation difference here. Eh, you will not notice it. I think we can make this nice and slanty and we should be good. Okay. Uh, Iron Spotty Gaming. Too much about content here. Yeah. Hello, Demario O'Brien. Demario O'Brien. Love the name. Absolutely love them. That's a fantastic name you've got. Especially that first name. It flows off the tongue so nicely. I like it. Concrete says, Sanctum Gamer, how do you move a node using move it while keeping it locked straight with the adjacent perpendicular nodes? I've only ever been able to do that with a mouse while holding alt. Uh, whilst holding alt, you can do that? I didn't even know that. Huh? Let's see. Hold Alt. Oh, it's got a snapping effect. Okay, so what I do, I actually just use the keyboard. But I line it up. So I actually position my camera in such a way that I line up as best as I can from a straight angle. Then with it selected, you can use the arrow keys up and down, left and right. And you can use the Alt key for finer adjustment, Shift key for larger adjustment, and Control doesn't really do too much. Yeah, it does something, but it doesn't do it much. But the arrow keys allow you to also adjust the nodes left and right, up and down. It's relative to your camera position. Hope that helped. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, the Isaac. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Ash Phillips. How you doing, Ash Phillips? Nice to see so many familiar names. Super, super awesome to have you in the stream. I'm trying to find this hotel and I can't find it. I'm pretty sure I found it last week and I can't remember what it was called. Oh, this is ooh, this is huge. Ooh, oh, that's fancy. My brain is going into a bit of overdrive evening bert bertsonson oh <laughs> that is a name that is a name and a half bert bertsonson i like it how you doing how you doing adesh what will we do if you aren't gonna stream next weekend <laughs> adesh you can have a relaxing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are take a break just chill relax and maybe you can enjoy the video that i'm gonna put out next week over and over and over and over and over again yeah there you go where is this building i wish i knew where this building was ah and i don't even know what i need to search for i can't remember oh what is it called it's not a hotel clearly because when I search for hotel, nothing pops up. Oh, well, the building doesn't pop up. Where is it? 
you have a very precise camera control. <laughs> I have had to learn precise camera control over the years. All of my recording and I suppose pretty much everything I do is built around my camera. So yeah, I have had to. I have had to learn. But thank you so much. Those are very kind words. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Let me let me just do this quickly. Let me find this building proper. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, this is nice. We'll do things with you. This is the thing. I always get distracted. As I'm searching, I see other buildings and I'm just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then before you know it, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Just when I take a moment to see if I can find this building. I know it is, it's in this menu somewhere. I know it's in this menu somewhere. Are you joking? I don't remember be it's being a higher level building. I'm not seeing it, chat. Where is my overhanging building? Oh no. I really can't find this building. It's not this one. I really can't find this building. <laughs> I have no idea where this building is. Hang on. No, man. I know this building is somewhere. Let me just do some quick digging. I know this building is somewhere. Where did we do that? We did it here. So let's see if I can. Ooh, why do I have so many? Where is it? I'm trying to go through like my old video. So if you're hearing some other sounds in the background, it's because I'm trying to get go through this old video to see if I can find where I actually use this building. Come on. Well, not where I used it, but which menu I found it in. There it is. It was in level 3. It was in level 3. But why don't I see it anymore? Was it taken down, maybe? No, there's no way it was taken down. This building has been on the workshop for ages. I don't see it. I really, really don't see it. Huh. It was here somewhere. Yeah. Based on my thing, it would have been right after this building. Perhaps I need to resubscribe to it. Oh, well. We're not going to have our overhanging building, I guess. We're going to have to make another plan to get that in. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, let me get back here. I am missing... Okay, where am I? I'm, f I'm, I'm here again. Your channel is amazing. Hug from Brazil. Matthew, Matheus Lima. I hope that's right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Making a menu in InDesign. Hey, as so long as you keep him busy, right? <laughs> Good, good, good. Bert, Bert, Sun, Sun. Bert, Bert, Sun, Sun. Hello, Avinata. How are you, Avinata? Every time I place a building without zoning, it just disappears. What am I doing wrong? Were you answered? No, you are not answered. Ion Spotty, it sounds like you are missing the plop, the growables mod. That sounds like the culprit. Get your hands on plop the growables uh, let's see can i can i drop a link for you maybe it is an awesome mod that allows you to do plop the growables 
And there it is. All right. At Ion Sporty. There you go. I dropped a link straight to Plop the Grubbles. That is the mod that you need to be able to place any buildings anywhere without zoning. Uh, I love your work, Great City. A question, which PC system do you use? Matt, Matthias, Matthias Hemmers. Greetings from Germany. Greetings from South Africa. Quickly, I've got a... I've got a fairly decent system thanks to chat. So chat massive support last year in helping me get my system up to scratch to be able to produce 4K content. So massive shout out to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Matthias, it's an i9-9900K CPU. I've got a, an RTX 3080 Ti and 64 gigs of RAM. Have a look at the about page of my channel. You should see pretty much everything listed there okay so let's go back here let's do that do -do. make a marina yacht club i i will I have a plans for for it on the other side there. So for this piece of the land or this piece of what's what you call it, this part of this part of the island, I just want to put a lot of the the buildings, and we will definitely be making a yacht slash marina in a another planned area. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, where's the buildings that I'm looking for? I'm looking for these chappies. So I want I want to bring these down. So these these will be well connected. This one and that one. What are you called? Okay, so these are the condos. So let me actually be searching for condo. Hello, David. David Huguera? Hoguera, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the stream, David. Welcome to the stream. Where am I? I should be searching for condo. There we go. And I should hopefully find all those nice buildings. These ones, these ones, these ones, these ones. Okay. I want, I want, I want, I want. Actually, you are slightly taller. So you work better. And then we'll put the shorter one on this side, which also works great. And then we're going to connect up. I want to connect this one up to the path as well over there all righty we're going to keep this path connection going i don't think i want to connect this one but i'm not sure does it line up nicely it doesn't really line up with us the way the design of this building is i don't think this lines up well enough to connect it does it let's let's just plop and see let's plop and see uh, well, we could get away with it. We could actually get away with it. But I think let us... Let's leave this part. Oh, I was supposed to click that. Why is this not straight? Why are these all completely misaligned? Let's sort that out quickly. And let's align to object heights. In fact, wait, before I do that, let's select everything. Let's select everything so that everything is aligned properly. And we'll align everything to you. Cool. Great. We should be good now. Yes. I'm hoping by the end of today, we'll put the pods actually through and start getting the, the foot traffic up, 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 up in the air. Hello, 
Jui? No, I lie. Gul... Gui... Oh, gosh. I'm about to abuse this name so bad. Gui Lome? Jui... Jui Lome? Go Jui Lom? Jui Laume? B? Oh, I am so sorry. You are probably sitting there cringing like, oh my gosh. Just stop. Just stop. And I am here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Welcome to the stream. I still appreciate you being here. <laughs> Just want to get a little path in between. So people have ways through. And then we are going to put down a cafe. So, uh, JN, hello all. Hello, Hugger51. Huga 51 Welcome, welcome. JN says... Your map pack is lovely. I bought it and I really hope you get a big chunk of the revenue it generates. Thank you so much, JN. Really, really appreciate it. Let me take this chance to actually say a big, big, big thanks to every single person who has bought the map pack. Your support means a lot. And yes, buying the map pack is you actually supporting me directly. So yeah, if you want to support me, Definitely get your hands on those map on that map pack. I definitely do get a a cut, and the more people buy, the better. So, yeah, go ahead, grab that map pack. You get eight brand new maps that you shouldn't be or that you won't be seeing anywhere else. So that is awesome, and not just me. Hey, if you appreciate the work of any other creator who has a content pack out. Get your hands on it. You will be supporting that person as well. So definitely check them out. I think Bisquaggle's uh, vehicle pack is amazing. You also have, uh, what's her name? Avania's European Suburbia Assets. The one that I use a lot in, in Normersburg. Those are also amazing. So... Yeah, definitely check out all those packs. You'll be supporting all the creators. And we really, really appreciate the support. Thank you, JN. Does loading screen mod work? Uh, has anybody replied? Big Bep. Big Bep. I hope I've pronounced that right. There is a, a new version currently on the workshop. That is a temporary lsm whilst whilst the actual one gets updated so there's a new version there for you to grab on the workshop hi the best player <laughs> comete lolo thank you so much really appreciate that those are very very kind words Thank you, thank you, thank you. And hello, hello, hello to you too. Alejandro Santolario. Oh, that is such a name. I love it. Ale, Alejandro Santolario. Oh, gosh. I forgive the accent. I'm so sorry. Hey, what are those buildings called? You're referring to these ones. I actually don't know what they're called. I usually just search for condo and they pop up. They are... Who created these are by Smiley's. Yeah. So just check out Smiley's Smiley's on the workshop. They have an awesome, awesome, awesome set of modern buildings. Let me actually let me actually uh, getting getting their because I follow them on the workshop. And they release amazing, 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 amazing content. Let's see, there we go. Smiley's. They're currently offline. There's their workshop items. Check it out. There we go. This is for you, Ale Alejandro. Alejandro. That's a link to Smiley's workshop. Check them out. They are fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, where am I? Do, do, do. Okay, Bert says, what's the mod you need to place things anywhere, e.g. fences around schools? That is the prop entry anarchy, I think. You see this? Yeah. 
that's what you need prop entry anarchy mode it allows you to place any well any prop anywhere if you want to place buildings anywhere then you want to get your hands on plop the growables and or plop pubble rico i believe hey this isn't straight am i losing my mind i'm losing my mind don't mind me all right let's see i want to put i want another building here i really want i really want the the density of buildings to be hectic around here what's the mod you need to please okay cool don't worry it took a year for my wife to pronounce my name correctly <laughs> Alrighty, i feel better at Sanctum Gamer, I don't like donating through YouTube or via Patreon, so releasing the content pack was the perfect way to financially support you. Thank you so much, JN. I really appreciate the support in whichever way it comes. Views, likes, comments, shares of my YouTube videos are also ways to support. So if you do any of those, thank you. I appreciate that just as much as well. All right, let's... Let's mix this in up. Let's mix this up a bit. I want to. Oh, yes, I can do. I can do this. I can get nice density going here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I can make this work. Can I? Can I though? Mm, can I make it work? Oh, yeah. Oh, these line up perfectly. Oh, yeah, that's perfect can i find a yeah. are you too high no you're not i just need to get you to balance out with this one and then boom done 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 i i'm i'm i'm, I'm enjoying the density I am enjoying the density that I'm getting in and around the space, which is really what I want to get. Uh, do you stream on Twitch? I on Spotty, I do stream on Twitch, but not City Skylines. So Twitch is is the the platform I use for playing other games. So I appreciate the fact that not every single one of my YouTube audience is interested in other types of games because I generally don't play city builders there. I play other things like first person shooters and so on, which is really my other passion. So Twitch is my platform for streaming everything not city skylines. So if you are interested in that, then check out my Twitch. That is... I'll just drop a link here just for those who are interested. You can, because I'm not Sanctum Gamer there. I am Sanctum Gamer Live. So there we go. Ion, Ion Spotty. If you're interested in my Twitch, you can follow me there as well. Hmm. To pronounce his name, you can just say. <laughs> oh, nice. It's as easy as that. I don't want to build anything here because I want that. I want that overhanging hotel. And because I don't have it subscribed to, I'm going to have to do that off screen. So let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the island development so long so let me take that i'm going to bring these across okay your streams are very relaxing ah oh, thank you very much hugger 51 i hope it's i hope it's hugger but I see you've never, you, you don't really correct me. So either you don't mind or it is Haga 51. Either way, thank you so much for the kind words. Really, really appreciate that. Mm. 
let's get that lined up nicely wait no i don't want to line up here actually because i want to put i want to put i want to actually put services here so i'm going to move this across a little bit further big thank you for the answer sanctum it is my pleasure big bip i want to get i want to use this i want to use this i want to use that road or should i or should i rather use the the concrete road because the concrete road i can make better things with hmm Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I bought your pack too. Yay! Thank you, Ash Phillips. That is straight support for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Massive thank you again to every single person who has bought the pack. And I dare say thank you on behalf of every other content creator who's Whose stuff you have bought. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's kind of, Is it a thing? Oh, that works. Cool. It's just this little. Nah, nah. Don't really like that little. But it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I gotta go grab some beers from my shed, so don't say anything important for the next minutes, please. Well then, since I'm only seeing this message now, I'm sure that we need a, that minute has long passed. I, if I said something important, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So I think I have a couple of modern looking, modern looking thingamabobs like this, for example. This is a nice modern one, but where's that one? Ooh. Oh, this is that. This is that. Yeah. No, it's too much happening in the front. It's too much happening in the front. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sanctum, can you say? Oh, of course, I'm going to try my best. All right. Can you say? Parang <laughs> Paranguti Whoa, what in the world is this? No ways. There's no ways this is Paranguti Alright, I failed there. Paranguti Kurimi Kwaro I have no idea what I am saying. <laughs> What in the world is that? is that a name? Is that a name, David? That is insane. I'm still sad about River Valley. Yeah, it is a bummer. I'm I'm actually still thinking what to do about that. Whether I should replace it with something else, whether I should just relax a bit. I'm 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 leaning towards a relaxation for a bit, putting out a single video and a single live stream having to worry about just the two has been has been a nice breath of fresh air i must be honest it doesn't feel as as demanding having just the two to worry about but at the same time i don't know about about how you feel about me streaming the same city all the time you know, I'm not sure. I don't know. Next week or the week after, we'll do a Nomasberg stream, maybe. But it was nice to have a a third city that you could stream. But yeah, I'll see. I'll see what happens. Do I have? Yes, I do have a modern fire. So I want. I want to see if I can incorporate i want to incorporate these into into the existing 
existing buildings so that it's not so obvious that these are utility buildings. It's hug as in hugger. Yay, hugger. So I am not, I, I was not wrong, hugger 51. Oh, David, you're laughing at me. <laughs> you are laughing at me. That means that I completely and utterly butchered it. Oh, wow. That's too big. Maybe not so. Uh, I just want to. Can we? Is there something we can do? Mm, not quite. I don't quite like the fit of that. Let's see. What are the. What are you? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I think we could. Oh, no. Hey, look, look, look. Look at that. It's the mobile command center from the latest vehicles of the world, CCP. So can we just have a quick look at this awesome asset? Look at that. If you haven't got the Vehicles of the World CCP, these are what you are missing out on. Look at that beautiful thing. Driving around your city. I think it is fantastic. If you haven't got the Vehicles of the World CCP by Piscuegohausen, get it. Because I think the vehicles in this pack are fantastic. One of my favorite, favorite buildings. Uh, assets is this one this large fire engine oh it is amazing let's keep building hopefully a, a we'll get a fire somewhere don't i have that thing that allows you to set a building on fire i don't the this this building is amazing did i say building vehicle so vehicles of the world ccp get that talon thank you thank you thank you so much mr ever so generous for the mango fund thank you so much you will be getting your mango your mango oh your mango stuff in in nomersburg so look out for that so yeah mobile command center vehicles of the world pack ah uh, you didn't miss anything jay and don't worry <laughs> You are a great sanctum. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Lucretia Gray. Hello, hello. Hi, sanctum. Just popping in to say hi. I hope you and everyone had a good week. Sending airport DLC energy and inspiration your way. Thank you so much, Lucretia. Send that energy as soon as that I feel that vibe. I will. I will be jumping into airports as well. And I actually can't wait to build an airport to this DLC. I'm excited. Those of you who have actually got the airports DLC and have played with it, what what are your thoughts? I would like to know what what you think of it. Did you enjoy the mechanics of it? You know, did you find it easy to build an airport? Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let's just balance this. Only thing I wish I actually want. Okay, I did move this back, didn't I? I actually want to blend it in completely and then bring it across. Because I don't want there to be any space in between. Uh, <laughs> too much money is on this hand again. Man, Talon is so, is so generous, eh? Ever, ever so generous. Ash Phillips, Sanctum Gamer. I'm not sure that industrial road looks good there. Yeah, I, I'm I'm feeling you on that one. We're going to change it. I'm going to try and, and cycle through a bunch of different routes to see what we can what we can get to make work. I'm just trying to see if I like this blend. If we can put something in and around here. I think this might work. 
because it isn't an obvious it isn't an obvious what's this thing fire and police station D Brawley, I wish they given us the ability to put elevated metros over the roads like the monorails. That would be that would be cool. I'm guessing you're speaking in a non-modded sense. Because yeah, that would that would be cool. What kind of road can we use here? I don't want to use this one because I consider that a decorated road. Ooh. Ooh. We just keep it simple. I actually like this. I don't want to change this. I love, I love, I love the fact that we've got this drainage on the road. It looks great. Can I send you below? Aww. Mm. I guess I'm going to have to paint this out. Let's see. Let's let's concrete brush this place. If we concrete brush this place, then we can fence this place as well to see if that can look a bit better. As also, Papa, let's no, that's too. This is too harsh. I think it's too harsh. But let's see. Why am I so paused? Ooh, ooh, hang on. Check it out. Check it out. Another awesome vehicle from the CCP. If you haven't seen it, the police supercar. Police supercar. Look at that. Look at that. This is the car that you see on the poster. Oh, I love this car. I think this... I think Biscraggle outdid himself with this one. It's simple. But, I mean, just look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh, what? 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 What brand of car is this? Was this modeled after? I wonder fantastic yeah if you want this driving around your city vehicles of the world ccp it's amazing i love it hey we got batman in town <laughs> we got batman in town look at that look at that how many people have batman in their city huh i got two batmans well that's kind of defeats the point of having a batman if i've got two of them <laughs> i love that asset i just thought i'd get it to have some random some random things driving around did you name the city tando after someone yes i did it is actually after my daughter so each each one of my cities is inspired by one of my kids. So yeah. Well, the main cities, just the three. Well, no, I lie. It's no, I don't lie. They are inspired by my kids and my wife. So Nomersburg is derived from my wife's name. Tando from my daughter. Little town from the fact that I had sleepless nights with my eldest son, my second born. And my youngest is going to get his own as well. So there we go. Let's put some parking down. Right there. And there. And there isn't enough space to put a whole other one, so we'll do, 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 and do. Cool. So now we can at least have cars parking there nicely. Ash Phillips says that's better. Great. I am glad. Oh, I love the mix of police cars now. I really do. I am supposed to say, Dubai supercar. Is that what it's it's named after? I mean, it's modeled after the Dubai supercar. Oh, these are actually police vehicles. Ha! <laughs> I had no idea. Ish, how bad is the crime in this city? I'm just having police shoot out of here. 
gosh i don't even want to know i don't want to know i don't want to know i don't want to know let's get okay i'm going to do this i'm going to do that i'm going to do that i'm going to do that and i'm going to do that uh it's not tando it's go tando hmm? what's what's go tando wait am i missing something okay that's removed let's put that oh i don't like this bouncy effect that tends to happen what am i missing jn with go tando Good evening. Sorry, I am late. Always a pleasure to catch your stream. Nicole, you are not late. We are still here. So you are definitely, definitely not late. Welcome, welcome, Nicole. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Another familiar name. Let's get that in place. All right. So that's there. What I will do is i'm actually going to we're going to concrete up around here all right so that's still that's still decent that's still decent and then maybe i can use landscaping ah jn i get you now I'm slow. I'm so sorry. Gotando. <laughs> I get it now. After 50 years. Gosh. <sighs> when you're slow, you're slow. You know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's see. What can we do about making things look a little bit a certain way? Ooh. That works. I like that. Unfortunately, I don't have a skinny version of this. So let's see. We are about to go PO here. My PO skills are not the best. Ooh. Really? What? Where is it? Where is it? Where, 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 where? I can't even select it. Let's remove segments. There it is. Oh, I don't think this can be PO'd. Aw, that's a bummer. Okay, that's fine. We'll make do with this. It's not the end of the world. It is not. I type too fast for this thing. Hello, Citrus. Welcome, Citrus. What's happening? What's happening? Cannot upgrade this type. Who's trying to... Oh, who's... Ha oh, that is so weird. Do you guys see what's happening? I think there's a bug somewhere. Look at this. When I hover over the... The segment, it assumes I'm trying to upgrade the segment to a bush type. <laughs> that is very interesting. That is so weird. Why is it in upgrade mode? I've never experienced this before. Has anybody experienced this before? It's like as I hover over any segment... It assumes I'm trying to upgrade it to the bush. Would you mind saying props or assets you use 
when you place things please i mean what mod citrus says it's the new update that's causing this so it's probably clashing with some some mod some mod needs to be updated probably but that is very weird Upgrade the route to a bush, please. I wish, I wish I could. <laughs> I would actually love, I'd love to see what what would have happened. Let me save just in case. I, oh crap! Did I just? Okay, I did a quick save. Okay, that's fine. I'm not. Oh my word! I can't. I can't come and push to put bushes too close to thingies. That is. That is... That's sucky. Like, what in the world? I thought maybe because I had left this in an upgrading mode. And that's what was causing that. If I get it... For, if I use the... The tree menu. Let's see. If I use the tree menu. Same thing. Oh, that's an interesting bug. That's a very interesting bug. It's a new update where you can change the trees. Oh, to any tree type. But these trees, these roads don't have trees on them though. So why would it? oh okay i see what's happening all right so because it assumes that i'm trying to change the tree type and the networks have such large collision areas it's preventing me from being able to place row uh what's this thing trees on here ah i see so the network collision is is taking priority over the fact that i want to place bushes on things that are so close to the network oh snap 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 yeah jn i have to place them somewhere and then move them eh oh that's a that's no fun yeah I'm sure once prop and tree anarchy gets updated, it should be able to sort this out. Okay. Okay. Thankfully, we have move it Ooh. to be able to do that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's use dirt. So let's just do that to you. Police supercar. Oh, I love this asset. I really love that asset. I think that asset is amazing. I think Bisquagel outdid himself with that one. I just... I think it's amazing. Hello, everyone. How's life? Hello, Hellboy13. Life is as good as can be. How are you doing? Hope all is well on your side. Do -do. Ooh, I must figure out how I'm going to terminate this area. Oh no, but you need to actually go in that way. Can I? Can I? Can I? Are you too big? Let's see. Does this work? Does this work? Does this work? Does this work? It does work. Cool. So we will fence off this area. I need to bring it in actually a little bit more. There we go. So we will fence off this area. I think this is going too far. Is this going too far? Am I going too far? I'm going too far with the fence. Let's just stick to here. We'll make it... At the, ugh, what in the world is happening? Oh, it's because this road is is slightly elevated. Okay, this this is not cool. 
unless I lower both of these like so at the same time okay that's not the end of the world oh no it is the end of the world look at that Ugh. oh nice I can actually do that great problem solved uh, can you maybe okay I've seen that this game should be fun this game should be fun. This game should be fun. This game is fun, isn't it? Again, I've probably missed something, JN. Hellboy 13, what did you miss? Nah. Nothing. Nothing. Every time in this stream, I realize there's a bunch of people from all over the globe watching a chilled out SA dude building a city. It's just awesome. It is awesome. Indeed, it is awesome, 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 awesome. It's nice to hang out with people from like all over the world, which just always is super cool. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, I'm talking about the trees. <laughs> uh, let's see. What can we do here? We should do something interesting this side. Since there are already chairs in and around the space, maybe we can put some cafes here. But no, cafes here wouldn't work. But I am also trying to hide the fact that we've got that. What if we just... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how to close out the space. I feel like we're not moving as fast as we did last week. Last week we built all of this so quickly in one stream. I couldn't believe it. Or should I just, or maybe I should just leave it bushy. Hey, look at that. It's Lil Maf. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Lil Maf 4 Gaming. Oh, let's just Lil Maf 4 here. How are you doing, Lil Maf 4? If you guys don't know who Lil Maf 4 is, Lil Maf 4 puts out some amazing stuff. I follow Lil on on his on his twitch he's got awesome 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 screenshots leo i am definitely giving i think you deserve a shout out i think the stuff that that you build are absolutely absolutely amazing thank you so much for joining us on the stream really really appreciate that peeps check out leo my for stuff also on, on Instagram, screenshots, oh, fantastic, 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 fantastic. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Let's stick that down there. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. Good morning from Australia, Josie Telly. Welcome, welcome. Super glad. You've joined us. It's early, early, early morning for you. Welcome to the stream. Ah, it's, it is no thanks needed. I think that's it's a well-deserved shout out because not a lot of people get enough recognition for the stuff that they do. And I think the stuff that you you build is absolutely, absolutely amazing. I'm realizing just now that I'm hungry. Yeah, I am definitely hungry. I can hear my stomach making funky sounds. It's like 11 p.m. at night here. And my, my stomach has decided it's going to start singing to me. Gosh, that's not cool. Now I must make a decision whether I'm going to go and eat at midnight or just go to bed and let my stomach worry about itself. I don't know why I'm saying all of this. Maybe it's the hunger talking. Do not mind me. Do 
Let's get. Can I come this far out? Oh, it's not quite straight with that. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's do that. We'll line that up. Mm. Lawrence G. Coleman. Good afternoon from Los Angeles. From the, I believe it's the City of Angels, right? Welcome, welcome. Super awesome to have you. Thanks for joining us on the stream. You should eat bitter balen. What in the world is bitter balen? Strawberries. Actually, I do have a bowl of strawberries here. <sighs> Hellboy 13, thank you. You've reminded me that I've actually got a bowl of strawberries. Let me have some strawberries. Maybe one strawberry might help calm my, my singing stomach. Hmm? You've already eaten some just an hour and a half ago. Bitter ballen. Never heard of them, but I'll check. I'll, I'll Google and see. Are they bitter? What are they? Are they a fruit, a biscuit, chips? What? Hmm. Oh my gosh, these strawberries are amazing. Oh, that strawberry was amazing. Mm. If you're not a strawberry lover, I don't know. I don't know. Everybody needs to be a strawberry lover. Wow. I love strawberries. I don't know if I shared this the other day. That I'm I'm growing my own strawberries and I've been propagating from a specific plant. And I've got 14 new new plants from the one that I was propagating from. 14 whole plants from just one. So the other weekend, I think it was last weekend, my wife and I transplanted the strawberries into their own bed, which is fantastic. We went out today. We got ourselves some nice, what what you call these things? Uh, wood chips to use as a sort of mulch in the bed. And that even looks even more amazing. So yeah, my strawberries are coming along super well. I'm done with the propagation now at least. So now we're leaving them to fruit. Hopefully in one of the upcoming streams, I will be eating strawberries from my own garden. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Bitter balen is a Dutch snack. Some meat sauce kind of substance in a crispy layer deep fried. Very good stuff. Ooh. They are like little Crocketon. I don't know what Crocketon is, oh boy. What is Crocketon? That sounds like something I'll definitely like to give it a give it a try. My girlfriend has an own okay vegetable garden with her sister. It's awesome. We eat like thirty to forty dinosaur of vegetables from that garden per year. That is fantastic. That is fantastic to hear. Gardening is such a nice, like, relaxation time. And it's, it's good for you, actually. It's some nice exercise as well. This road is definitely not straight. Oh, my goodness. I know I spotted this last week, but, oh, that is... Oh, I do not like that. Oh. But, okay. Let it go. 
I can't do anything about it now. I'm not even going to try and do anything about it now, so me I'll move on. Is it lined up nicely? How is it? How is this? How is it? How is it too low? I copied it from exactly. Ugh. Gosh. Uh, to object height. That height. I can understand if I am not like perfectly aligned with it but when the height is not the same and i don't have that turned on so i don't understand why why the height would be giving me issues Blech. wow even someone from mexico in the stream martin f Mata, greetings from mexico welcome welcome martin super glad to have you on the stream those cafes you just place down with the umbrellas. How do you find them on Steam? Do you know? I can't find them anywhere. Sure, I can find them. Give me. So, let me show you. So, we've got these cafes. They are by Mr. Miyagi. So, I can right click. Uh, what is it? What does it say? It says right click to view on Steam. There we go. Why are you asking me? That okay, whatever. I will. Can I copy that? Copy, copy, copy. And there you go. Ash Phillips. That's the link to them on Steam. Hope that helps. Okay, I had wanted to. I had wanted to to put. Oh yes, this was not meant to be the public. The public transport was gonna be, or the hub, was gonna be somewhere else. That's why I wanted just buildings, so the stops would just be on the side of the road. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. It is my pleasure, Ash Phillips. Let's try, let's try, fill this place out. Oh, wait, hang on. So I had these buildings, Adelaide, to all my, to all my Australian viewers. Is this actually, like, do the, whatever this is, what is it called? It's called Ivory on Adelaide. Is, do we have any Adelaide viewers here? I know Talanen. Talanen, you are in? Is it Melbourne? Melbourne or Sydney? I think you said you're in Melbourne. Hey, I can't remember exactly. If Talanen is online. <laughs> Jamale Thai. Do you have the new vehicles of the world pack? Of course. I was actually just... Where is it? Uh, when they pop out, you'll see. So my fire station uses the large fire engine because I think this is the best asset of the pack, at least according to me. And then I love, where is it? The police supercar. Hey, wrong building. Where is it? This police supercar. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. So yeah, I, I, I have it. I think it's amazing. And I definitely recommend it to everybody. What am I doing? D desk D desk D I don't know. I don't know. What am I doing? I am I'm building. I'm building stuff. I am trying to create a super 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 dense area. That's what I'm doing. Yep, Melbourne, there we go. We do have one regular viewer from Adelaide, but I'll leave that to them to reveal if they are comfortable doing so. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Bogdan Mihai 
says first time live on your stream wanted to say that actually the way you drive is the right way <laughs> romans drove like aussies napoleon changed this of course this is the right way to drive we know that we we all know it but let's not tell the rest of the world that think otherwise i mean ugh. why waste our breaths right Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. I did want. No, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep this to this side of the of the road over here. I think I'll I'll just continue with this condo architecture because I want to maintain maintain the look throughout the space. Am I, I really am I really typing too fast for this thing? It's like it doesn't register anything after my C. I suppose it's because of the real-time search that it's trying to perform. Mm. I want to just put something down here just to complete this area. Just so that when I take a screenshot, it actually doesn't look like this big empty block. So I'm going to put these down. I am going to remove this on stream um, i mean off off camera i'm definitely going to remove this i'm going to change it to the overhanging hotel but i think i need to resubscribe to that before i can do that so for now these will sit here and i'm just going to also do that because i want a tapering down of this entire area there we go perfect so from here they come down that works it's not the prettiest but it does the job for now okay, let's put this one over there cool so at least it does the job of this place not looking too empty when when i take my screenshots i'm happy let's move on let's move on let's move on let's move on let's see what other condos we've got mm. Sanctum, have you ever been to Europe? And if so, which countries? I have never been to Europe, unfortunately, Shinex. I have never been. I would love to go. I will certainly, definitely love to go one day. But until then, I wait. I wait. I wait. I wait. Okay, this is better. This is this is actually better even though it is a a park building instead of Oh really? I don't like that. What is this called? These are the modern midrise condo. Let's modern midrise. I wanna find Oh, I was hoping I could get one that is no man. There are others. I use some of them. Oh, I'm smoking something. That's not right. That's definitely not right. I don't like. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Let's see. I just wanna, I wanna check if I can. What does that look like? I think I would have to shift this as well to balance it out. Maybe inward, inward, inward to about there. Uh, but then what can I put all the way in here that will still look decent? Because I want to put... I want to... Uh, no. I actually don't know what I want to do. I'm not liking that at the moment. Mm. Oh, it's a bit of a history lesson going on there. <laughs> I am Alex from Romania, so I drive on the wrong way. Ah, no. 
at sanctum when you are a content creator like you do do they give you a discount on all the ccps or do you have to buy them full price it will be funny if they try to charge you for your own ccp <laughs> yeah no so so i because i am a collaborator with paradox i i sometimes get access to to some of the the ccps and stuff for free for review so things like i did buy quite a few back before i became before i started collaborating with them but since i started collaborating i am fortunate enough to have got these these last ccps free so yay can't exactly buy my own ccp i mean i've got the map file sitting right there on my pc so but i actually think i've deleted them i think i deleted them and then got the ccp ones because otherwise then i have like multiple ones of the same things which is which is weird hmm I wonder if any of these would actually maybe work in this. Ah, oh, I used this in the corner there, didn't I? Yeah. Ah, well, why not? Let's see. You are too big. I agree with you there, Talonan, that if the whole world, if everybody just standardized and we all say, cool, we're all going to drive on the left or the right, great. You know, like yourself, I also don't care whether it's on the right or the left. I just want some consistency. Some consistency would really be nice. I want to see if having a how this could be placed in such a way that we could have a park back here or maybe even a tennis court back here because this is some kind of a hotel I can bring a little road in the front here maybe or we make this also just a park because this has a road access from here so that's good Mm. will you build any of your oh will i will i run will i build anything on any of my maps i'm still thinking i'm still thinking about it i'm still thinking about it because so many people i'm seeing bu are building on on specific on specific maps so they are like the popular maps i guess so if i'm going to build something on any of my maps then i want to use a map that not a lot of people are using so i'm giving it a little bit of time to see which are the most popular maps and then i wonder i will probably either grab one of the unpopular ones and build on it or i might just build a whole new map i don't know i'll have to see I'll have to see. Does this fit in here or is that too much? No, it's too much. Uh, this map is amazing. I started a new game, but I changed some of the intersections because you play with some mods that limit service cars. But the custom one is hard. Which map are you referring to, Bogdan? Hello, Abdullah. Welcome, welcome. Should I keep this here? No. Uh, no, I don't want to keep I actually don't want to. I am going to... I was planning on having a nice... A nice, like, full-on resort space for these buildings. Because they are so amazing. So I'm not going to keep them. We're going to go back to our regular buildings. I just want to go back to my regular buildings. 
Nintendo map. Oh, the intersection you made in downtown made my brain melt. <laughs> To use that building or to not to use that building again. Which one is this? Are you line? Why don't I have this building line in this this area? Hmm. I know why I don't have this lining this area. I expected to have had this lining this area. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Well detailed. Very well detailed. I like that. It's a beautiful building. Where did I use? Did I use this building anywhere else? How do I not have this building anywhere else on this island? This is amazing. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm going nuts. I am going nuts with this building. And then we can put this here. <laughs> eh, too big. Ah, still big. But because it's a prettier tennis court, maybe it will... Oh. Oh. Wow. That is horrendous. Ah, okay, so I can shift you along a little bit. Oh, the ground is sloping. Nah, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. You have a left corner middle. Left corner middle. What does that mean? What's left corner middle? And what do I have? Baba or Booba? I don't know which one it is. Booba, Baba? Thank you for the cool looking city comment. Really appreciate it. The buildings you made. Oh, did I have it somewhere else? Oh, there it is. I do have it there. Oh, I remember when we built this little marketplace. That was like two weeks ago, I think. Okay. I am going to just... This is something that I had wanted to have a lot of in this area, but I, I, I keep getting, I keep getting sidetracked. I was meant to make this place extremely, extremely green. Well, not extremely, extremely green, but I had wanted to have green, green spaces. Where is it? Why are you sinking into the ground? Oh, that's not cool. Alrighty. I think this would be cool. Imagine sitting here and just staring out. I think that would be pretty cool. And let's grab you. Put a trash can or two down. Make sure nobody is littering and going too crazy. Sweet. But you are. This is quite high. Okay. Now, in terms of the buildings, oh, the cars are not floating. Oh, they're not floating too badly. I'll leave it. 
I'll leave it actually. I think we're having having a little grass there that people can go and sit on and just stay out is cool. All right, bingo! So I got that right at least. Cool. And lastly, I'm going to grab that. Oh, why is it so long? Was this always this long? Oh no, that's too long. Definitely too long. So I can't use that. I'll have to find... I wonder if there's a short version. No, that's long. That's long. That's long. That's also long. It would be nice to find a pre-made gar like, garden like this that I could have just stuck into this space. Oh, here's one. This might work. This might work. If I take this chappy, rotate this chappy. There we go. That kind of fits. You know, because the roads are not straight, it's like everything just is messed up. Or things are just not aligned. Let me not say everything is messed up. Things are just not aligned. And my brain is not wanting to accept the fact that things are not aligned. Knowing myself, I am probably at some point going to do a select all with move it. And I am going to rotate this road and everything around it. I know myself. I think I have a problem. I have a major problem with symmetry. Let's get, let's get, let's get. Okay, why can't I select you? Okay. That's not how you spell bollard. It's double L. There we go. Actually, where is it? There it is. Stick one down there. Nobody can go in. And that's all I want. Cool, great. I think I can put a couple of benches down here and... <laughs> I type what my brain is thinking. Jamale, you say... I believe to properly play this game, you have to be a kind of perfectionist. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Uh, well, you must have some form of, of at least wanting perfectionism, right? So I could agree with you on that. I can definitely agree with you on that. And it requires a ton of... Of patience. That is the one thing that Cities Skylines has brought out of me. Let's stick that over there. And then I should be able to take all of them. Oh, wow, you were like so high. Okay, let's grab this one. I thought they would have all been relative to the ground, the same, the same height, but I was wrong. Cool, so we've got some benches there for people to set. Mm, maybe we can have some tables here. Maybe we have some tables here that people can sit some more and maybe have a planter or two over here. Yeah, that kind of works. But we should drop this drop this one a bit 
drop this one also a bit and drop this one also just a tad bit and i think i'm going to leave them there i don't think i'm going to put any trees in there i think that actually that actually works we'll leave we'll leave the space like this it's simple but i think it does the job welcome back citrus Sanctum, I experienced it because I'm usually building for hours and at the end I look at it and I'm not happy at all with it, no matter what I build. <laughs> you must keep building. You must keep building. One thing I have I have noticed and realized is that when you start when you start building something, it never looks it never looks like what you have envisioned in your mind. And you just have to keep going. And keep tweaking and keep going and keep tweaking and keep going. And by the time you're about 70, 75% through, you actually start seeing your vision coming through. I actually got that tip. I remember a strict toaster giving that tip. If you don't know who strict toaster is, ooh, you need to go and check him out. So he said, when you start building, you are tempted to stop. But sometimes you really just need to keep going. And your final vision will show itself towards the end. If you've built 70-80% of what you are thinking and you're still not happy, okay, then that's a different story. Then you can probably just chuck it and be good. But never stop prematurely. Okay, let's get... I actually can't wait to build an airport, eh? I'm really keen to try out this... This airports DLC. I suppose my only thing with something like the airports DLC now is I guess building airports will be easy. You know, it's just now about the design. But otherwise, they've made it so nice and easy for everybody to be able to build airports, which is cool. All right, and then, so this is where we are going to pick up with City of Tando episode 34. What I was going to have done before good old me decided to go and wipe my computer clean without thinking. I want the node. Okay, I can select the node. Boop, 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 boom. And boop, 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 Okay. There we go. Cool. We are ready to pick up the next episode. So I'm hoping after next week, after next week's video with Nomersberg episode 30, the next week, we can continue the actual development of City of Tando in regular, regular builds. And then we'll have to see what my, what we'll be doing in the streams. I will have, I have absolutely no idea what we're going to be doing in streams when the time comes. Let's see, medical. Uh, let me catch up on chat quickly. Let me eat another strawberry if you peeps don't mind. I can hear my stomach wanting to sing again. These strawberries are huge. Well, this one is small, but I got even bigger ones. Hello, Commander Cody. Darken, Darken 73. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So, so when Strict left, he said he was taking a break from the game, right? So those were his, his final words, that he was taking a break from the game because he had been playing it for something like five or six years straight. Or he had been doing YouTube for like quite a lot of years straight and he just needed a break. So 
that's about all that we know. Mentioning one of the legends of CS Strict Toaster. Yeah, yeah. Strict Toaster is the reason why I actually got into this thing, eh? Because I discovered his stuff when he was building in City Skyline. Not City Skyline, so what am I thinking? What's this thing? Let me just do a quick save. Uh, SimCity 2013, that's when I discovered him. And I was just completely, completely blown away. Hello, XYGab7, XYGAB7. Hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, he was in California, but he took a break long before. Like, wasn't it way back in 2020 when he went on his break? I think it was way back in 2020. Very long ago. And Flux Trans 2. Yep. His Rhinestone Island series. Legend. Yeah, Rhinestone was a legend of a build. Sanctum, there's a tree in the road. Oh, it's not a tree in the road. It's actually, let's fix it. It's actually the, the key that I used. I always knew I was going to come back and sort these out at some point, so. And then we just. Uh, let's just align it nicely. So my default modus is to use the key that I want the most around and in places where I have crossings, I'll delete those segments and then replace them with these ones. All right, cool, 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 cool. We get in places. Let's do... Ugh. I need to come up with a nice, with a story for this. Ooh, maybe you you can all help me out because when we get to doing episode 34 this is all going to look different so i want to do a flyby coming in where i'm going to show the fact that this looks different but i want a story to address why you know it looks so different and i'm thinking i don't know massive fire burned down everything and it got rebuilt and it's from that that Mr. Talonin's recommended or suggested name of New Tando came into play, which I think is a fantastic name for these islands. So yeah, I was thinking of something like that. What do, What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I would love to know. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Commander Cody, oh, you're remembering the massive interchangeables that was in, what is it? What is it called? Avalon. In his Avalon series, eh? That was a huge interchange. So big that I, be, I think even he confessed that he was getting confused <laughs> as to where everything was going. Okie dokie. I love this mobile command center. I think that thing is so cool. I honestly think Bisquigal Hausen outdid himself. Okay, I can actually come all the way. And then we can take... Reese Thomas, you are not 
late at all. Do not stress. We are all still here. And as long as we are here, you are not late. Let's get that there. Mm, no, too big. Let's use this one. Yeah, we'll use this one. So we'll bring this one in from here all the way. To meet up with that one. And then I will take a copy. And we'll send you to the side. All right. And then we will send another one here. And then I will grab you and we'll put you there. And we're going to do that. Do you require a road? No, you don't. Okay, cool. Great. I like it when they don't require road access. Oh, no. Cool. Let's see. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Uh, sorry. I am. I lost my chat window. Airports DLC. Yes, there will be an Airports DLC airport race. For sure. I'm just not feeling like building an airport just yet so when i feel like building an airport we shall build an airport why is this thing why is this stopped animating that is so weird why is it stopped animating i'm not happy that it has stopped animating Let's put this. That's so interesting. Why is it, does anyone know why it's not animating? I think I've got it. I've used it somewhere else, haven't I? Which is back here. And that's animated. Oh, does it maybe require electricity? Yes, it does require electricity. Okay, cool. That's fine. We'll sort, we'll get some electric power to it soon. Let's do this. Uh, wait, let me catch up on chat quickly. Sanctum, PHTN, and Palm Sign are most inspirational to me. That is fantastic, Sir 9150. Whoever inspires you, good for you. And their stuff is amazing. PHTN's Westdale City, oh, super. Palm Sign's Airports, incredible. So I can fully understand why those would be inspirations. Keep supporting. Keep supporting them. I'm sure they appreciate it. Sanctum, do you build as detailed in Nomersburg like right now? Because in Nomersburg, it looks so satisfying how everything comes together with the camera angle as well. Uh, I, I don't quite understand your question i do try and build so i'm not building as i'm not doing as much detail in city of tando as i am in nomersburg purely because the scale of super a city of tando is drastically bigger than that of nomersburg so nomersburg i can concentrate my details to the individual towns that i build or the individual settlements the town i'm currently building i want that town to be very detailed because that's like the main the main town of the region and then thereafter there's going to be like vast spaces before we get to another town so because of that i don't have to cram in i don't have to fill out the entire map so i can put in as much detail as i need in the concentrated builds whereas city of tando is the opposite right it's a lot more because it's so big and i'm trying to build this entire i mean my plan is to fill this entire space with just city so because of that, I can't get into as much detail 
as well let me not say i can't get into as much i can't do the little individual touches so instead i try and find things like this i try and get buildings like this they already come pre-detailed and i rely on that for for a lot of the details that i need because the goal of this project is expansion something huge whereas the goal of Nomersburg is a little more detail so yeah I think I talk too much sometimes. I must really learn to give short, concise answers and stop just blabbering along. No, I think a hedge, I think a hedge will be better. One of these. Let's shift this down. And then come along that way and that way. Just want to get these hedges around around the space. I want to try and I'm going to try and make this place also active. You know what I didn't check? I didn't actually check if I had if I had aligned, if I had aligned this properly. Let me, let me catch up on chat. I see a lot of my name. So Hellboy 13, Flag started all his cities with the central interchange. They were all huge. Flagsburg had a five points that zone. Yes, you're right. But Avalon, but in Avalon though, the interchange came... Oh, he built the interchange and then he expanded it into that massive monstrosity later, if you recall. Jamale says, how can you let the city run while moving around while streaming? Your PC must be a different breed. <laughs> okay, so it's a combination of things. So from a simulation point of view, I'm able to do that because I guess I've got a pretty decent CPU now. But also... I have all my graphics, well, the level of detail, toned down to low. And this really helps, as well as shadows and shadow quality. So with this set to low, I'm able to share a whole lot more of the city during the stream. If I tune all of these up to high, 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 very different story. My FPS will be negative. <laughs> Uh, that's what I wonder what that that would mean. I'm getting negative FPS. What was or is your favorite city you have built? Oh, we covered this earlier. So, quick answer: It's City of Tando. City of Tando is is a personal pride for me. Commander Cody, I don't know if you missed the chat, but a bit before I said that this area was destroyed by a flood. And then rebuilt to how it is now. This seems more realistic since it's on water. That does seem more realistic. I like that. I will I will use that. That it was destroyed by a flood. Hmm. Look out for the story when episode 30 34 comes out. Because I need to incorporate. I want to give you credit for this. And I also want to give Talonin credit for the name. So, I need to work out the story nicely to credit both of you for this. Thank you for that, Commander Cody. We'll definitely be using that. Your blabbering <laughs> helps us. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> no, we love your answers and your talking. That's why we are here. Uh, thanks, Jamale. I am glad then. I am glad I am not boring you with my overly worded answers. Also, excuse my many spelling errors. Ah, I don't see any spelling errors. So either I am blind or there are no spelling errors. No stress. Hello, Sanctum. Amazing build as always. Love your work. Greetings from Romania. Hello, Catalan. I hope I've spelled, I've pronounced that right. Thank you so much for those kind words, Catalan. Welcome to the stream. Alrighty, let's get some bush in. Ah, 
this is like really not gonna make me happy. Where are you going? Move it. Okay, let's guess we'll have to be using move it a whole lot more now. Okay. And then I will do a couple of areas here. A couple of areas here. And then we will do along this entire area. So this is kind of a muffle to the to muffle the noise of the of the tram tracks just a little bit. Nothing too wow. And if you see, look at this. From a certain distance, you don't they don't animate anymore. All of that helps in dropping down my FPS. Uh, a few content creators who can pronounce my name correctly. Did I pronounce it correctly? Reese Thomas. Yay! I am happy. Love the accents too. <laughs> Thanks, Bogdan. <laughs> Ooh, I see the Romanians have discovered each other. Sanctum, how do you rotate the trees where... How do you rotate the trees and bushes? Oh, if you're referring to the fact that it's like rotating as I move it along, I use random tree rotation mod but i think that's outdated now i think there's a there's another mod that incorporates that functionality but i use random tree rotation okay i don't want to share the link to it because i'm pretty sure it is out it is outdated so this is something you can probably okay there we go I think that's the new one. Tell them I just. Huh? Am I seeing things? Yes. Tree movement control mode. Has it incorporated. Interestingly, Talanon, I think I use both. I think I have both of those. Or do I have the other one on just Normersburg? Okay. I don't have it here. So I use I use the tree movement control in Normersburg, not here. Alrighty. Let's get so I want activity to happen around this side. So actually before I do that, before I do that, let's let's get the path in place first. So let's get people to arrive. They will come, they will chill, they will go. But whilst chilling, they may come further. So I am going to put this up to there. We'll then take this road. So this is now the actual thing that makes everything work. Puts the invisible road across here. And because of proximity, we should be able to use, we should not be able to then take people park and, oh, actually, before I do that, tree anarchy has random tree rotation, I believe, too, I believe. Okay, cool. I currently don't have inspiration to build in city skylines. What is a good city to build off of? Wow. Uh, personal favorite of mine and the one that I am building. Uh, let me not say the one that I am building this off of. But a, a big inspiration for me is the city of Singapore. Absolutely love it. I love how they incorporate the green into the city. I find it incredibly amazing so that is a a big big inspiration for me so check it out if you like big cities i think the city of singapore can be a a wonderful source of inspiration and i also like i, I like vancouver as well 
completely, completely love Vancouver. It's a city that I would love to also go and visit one day. So that also serves as good inspiration. And the nice thing is there's there's a lot of there's a lot of Vancouver. Well, let me not say. Yeah, it is Vancouver style buildings that have hit the workshop. So check that out. And then I end up doing other things. Kidoks. The Flood Memorial Park. Ooh, Reese Thomas. Ooh, the Flood Memorial Park. And why not? It can indeed be the Flood Memorial Park. All these people just randomly... Oh, that's the path you're using. Oh, you're following the road. Oh, oh, oh. My bad, my bad, my bad. Let's get... Which is the road? I think this is it. So let's line it up so that at least they walk in through... Oops, wrong, wrong thing. So that they at least come in through that way. Awesome. And then this one, are you lined up nicely? No. You are not. So let's line this up so that they also come in through there. Okay, cool. So now we've got it also here. So we can open up the space. Yeah, cool. Great. Open up that space and open up that space. So anywhere where they can walk, we keep a space open so that they can come through nicely. Yay. Let's actually use... Ugh, stop typing so fast. Let's actually use this. I'm going to put these here, here, and here. And then we will grab... Ooh. Ooh. Grab that and that. And then we can just lower that a little bit. Low, 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 low. Come on. Let's go, low. Let's go. That's better. Eh, okay, that's fine. But she did kind of walk into this bush. Let's line it up. This isn't lined up. Ah, let's just get rid of this, actually. We'll save ourselves a prop. Yeah, let's get rid of this. We'll save ourselves a prop there. Um... Okay, also, is it safe starting my city with all the mods and assets right now? I I didn't experience any problems except with loading screen. But when I, but I disabled loading screen and the game worked. Like literally day one, I had no problems. So my gut tells me you should be fine. But don't quote me on that. I can get rid of an extra prop here as well. Okay, cool. Great. All right. Now let's put... Let's put spaces for these people to just randomly chill in the grass. Because we want... We want the Flood Memorial Park... To be as active as possible. Boom and boom. Okay, I think that's enough. Maybe one more here. Cool. It's a simple park, but it works. I love this as as like edging using this as edging is fantastic Let's turn off snapping I just think I can stop it there and then extend this one okay 
and let's put that in the corner and that there uh, what are you saying I have been oh I have seen 50 countries I think Singapore is amazing Dubai is not my favorite at all Kuala Lumpur is also I also love you've been to 50 countries that is amazing you are quite the traveler hey if if you love traveling so much then I'm sure this pandemic times have been rather not nice for you We can actually do stuff like that. So it gets this area looking a little bit more lively. Alrighty. I'm going to just put... Yeah, it's fine. I want to keep the park simple. I do want to keep it simple. So nothing too extravagant. Wait. Oh, electricity is not coming here. That's why. I was wondering why all of a sudden it was. Let's put that here. Boom. 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 So I want to put the palms at all the openings and then we will add one or two to make it look a little bit A little bit like something else let's see something okay they're not lined up okay so we've got those palms there and if we get into the trees i want to use uh, 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 there we go nah not on top of each other why is it floating? Why are all the palms... Why are all these palm pots floating? That is not cool. Not cool, game. Not cool to make them float. Not cool for them to be floating. Let me just adjust them. Adjust those that I can see visibly. Can I get to you? Yes, I can. All right, that's fine. Mm, I've been to 18 in Asia, one in Africa, and the rest in Europe. Favorite is Boo. Is it Bhutan or Bhutan and Brunei? I would love to see Brunei, actually. Also amazing way the country is built. Could cover a map in SC. What's SC? South of Italy. Okay, so you've been around. That's that's great. At Sanctum, the story behind the flood could be a typhoon, hurricane, cyclone, or strong storm hit the city and cause flooding. Noted. Noted. I'm from the Netherlands and have seen a lot of European countries. Europe is actually a really awesome indeed. I, I can't wait to get a chance to go and see to go and see some of these countries. I work in IT with 10 and a half months. Work 10 and a half months, then I travel one and a half months. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Noted. So J JN, are you also are you also quite a traveler? Are you also an avid traveler? I loaded my game today, all of my trees were floating <laughs> like every single one. Do you use do you use uh, what's this mod? Uh tree snapping. Because tree snapping conflicts with unlimited trees mod. I think those two together are the ones that are called the floating trees, if I remember right. All right, let's ask. Mm. 
not as avid as Bogdan. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, clearly Bogdan seems to be quite the quite the traveler. But I suppose, like you said, you're in the IT space. So what do you, what do you do, Bogdan? Are you are you like a technician going to different countries to help people? What install some kind of software your company produces? What what is it that that leads to you traveling so much? Because I think you are like the envy of quite a lot of us who wish we could travel as much as you. Are these also floating? Okay, no, they're not. All right, cool. I am going to leave the park as it is. I am not going to add too much else. Hey, hey. Okay. So this should be the extent of the traffic that we get here, which is perfect. Once I hook up the tram line, we should hopefully see more or fewer cars. Mm. Now I have websites, logos, online images. I do planning long time before doing it. I visited 11 countries in Asia with. Oh, wow, that is amazing. That is amazing. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's get a couple of trees in. Oh, I am not, I am not super excited about, <laughs> about this thing that I can't. That now I have to worry about. Oh. No. Oh, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. I don't like it. Let's actually put... I want to put a few more benches here. It would make sense for benches to sit in this sort of space. And here as well cool oops oh that's almost a perfect fit let's grab you and move it across as well great i don't think there's enough seating here i don't think there's enough seating for a park i don't think this is enough so let's get let's put one more next to each of you What's going on? Does it? Does it hmm, I'm sure I remember move it used to keep items that you select, but now it's like once you click and place it disappears. Is that a setting? It's probably a setting that has come undone. Okay, let's move you and I'll grab this one and actually shift it also wide a little bit. And this one, I'll grab this one and put it further that way. And I can put one right here under that. Okay, cool. That's fine. Now, let me find a nice set of tall trees. Oh, I love... Oh, gosh. No. Oh, this is going to frustrate me. These are pretty trees. So we get the pretty trees. I'm going to put you in a cluster around there. I'll put it also in a cluster around here. And then we'll, we'll line up. We'll line them up that way. Okay. We've got a fairly simple park. I like it. We'll keep it there. Nordic city. Okay, so we got suggestions going on. UAE, India, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Bali, Vietnam, Sri Lanka. Wow. 
that is super cheap for flight tickets to that many places. Hmm. A city using your content creator pack. Hmm? Reese? A city using your content creator pack. I don't get it. Oh. Good evening. Boggle Plays. I hope I pronounced that right. Greetings from the Netherlands. Love from... Oh, love the map pack you made. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate those kind words. Really, really appreciate those kind words. I do want certain areas to be nice and and bushy. And I do want this in the corner there. And then we can finally take that. Put some shade there, some shade there, some shade there, and some shade there. And we are done. Almost done. Almost, almost, almost done with this, with the island here. Yeah? I do want this now to also be the final spot. I do want buildings here as well. And then we will call it... Ooh! Disaster. Thank you for... <laughs> undo. Oh no, did I mess it up? I messed it up. That took me by surprise. Okay, I see what's happening here. I see what's happening there. Maps CCP. Good evening. Greetings from the Netherlands. Okay. Wait, are you... I, I'm not getting you, Reese. Are you building a city using... On my maps? On one of my maps? Because that's amazing. Do you know why my game is crashing every time I am opening it? I do not. Unfortunately, Lars. But if I was to have a guess, it is very likely... Well, do you play with mods? If you play with mods, it's very likely a mod conflict. But in the absence of knowing anything more, unfortunately, can't really help you. What you can do, Lars, is jump on a Discord server. Link is in the description. And we've got a channel on the Discord server called the Help Zone. Drop a question there and there are lots of people who I'm pretty sure can help you find what the cause might be. If you don't want to get onto the Discord server, you can also get onto the... What's this, the City Skylines Reddit? There will, I'm sure there's somebody that I can also help. Thank you, Talonan. Let me save. Uh, what? How, what's my save? Control Shift S. So that I don't do it by accident. And then my whole game just freezes. Thank you, Talonan. Save. Done. Uh, do, do you know which is the most difficult country to visit? I do not. There's that handsome... Who are you talking about, Mr. Molova? Is there somebody behind me? I don't know who you're talking about. yeah okay so Lars, if the crashes started happening after you got the dlc then it's probably a compatibility issue and a little patience the, the biggest thing is identifying what what's causing the crash which mod it is and see if that mod has been updated yet or not if it hasn't been updated then a little patience and i'm sure it will you will find it will get updated and you should be good. Or you can unsubscribe from that mod and make do without it until the update happens. There was something else I'd wanted to say. There was another, uh, I'd wanted to say something else, but now, now I forgot. Oh yes, if you get on if you get on the help zone on the Discord server, you can also get hold of your crash logs. 
you know, just do a little Googling. You'll be able to find exactly where to find City Skylines crash logs. And perhaps that can help you find out which mod is causing the problem. There's also a... Does anybody know the name of the mod? Uh, this... Is it, there's a there's a I forget I forget I forget I forget there's a mod that basically helps you identify problematic mods I don't know if anybody can remember its name <laughs> something yeah, the handsome devil on youtube <laughs> big respect to you as always love the latest nomad's bag episode thank you mr molova really appreciate those kind words i am apparently handsome people i am apparently handsome can you imagine <laughs> Wow, look how many people have moved in in that short space of time. What car is this? That's a Porsche. Wow, yeah, peeps must be rolling in it. What a, what's going on here? That's a nice, beautiful asset. Beautiful, beautiful asset. Okay. I love this building so much, but I can't keep using it. I can't keep using it. Gosh. Let me shift. Let me shift this down. Bring it down a bit. Oh no, it's gone too far. There we go. And how can I do? How must I do this? Parking, road, parking, or road, parking, or just road with custom parking i am not sure i have a computer that has about one terabyte of space and it's amazing for building great that is fantastic to hear you say butan is the hardest country to visit mod compatibility checker that's it thanks jn I'm loving the maps, SG. I'm building a city on my Xbox on one of them. Thank you so much, Citrus. I am glad you like them. You can't visit Butan unless you hire a travel agency and you have to follow exact course. No smoking and no alcohol. Is it stricter than North Korea? Is Butan worse, uh, harder to visit than North Korea? I thought it would have been North Korea. I really can't think of any devilish about you <laughs> uh, last time i remarked on a microphone looking like a 70s mustache and i think you should go for one i'm gonna chop this thing off like this thing is becoming a bit too much now so i need to hide it behind the microphone mm. I have not moved that that water treatment yet, Molova. Let those people suffer a little bit with a little bit of stink. They will they'll be all right. <laughs> you meant normal countries, not hillbilly places. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can I get it exactly? Yes, I can. Ha! And then we will put a little spot. Oh, 179.9. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, got it. Ha! All right. This is the last, the last bit and then we... We know that we are done with this island. And then we can go back to formal episodes. This has been a long time coming. When I started this, I really thought, you know, two, three weeks, I'd be able to rebuild everything that we had done. Ha! Little did I know. 
little did I know that almost five weeks later we're still going to be at it. Hmm. Where are all these people coming from? Does anybody know why this happens, by the way? Look at this guy. Look at this old man. Like, look at this old man. Oh, what 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 is he what's he doing up there? Oh, oh, like oh, what what is going on? I, I don't I don't get it. What is what is he doing up there? This should be my thumbnail for this for the stream does anybody know what which mod causes these weird things or it's probably even dlc related because this didn't used to happen before and then we got this chappy i've just been seeing people walking randomly all over this place it's quite annoying oh what in the world what in the am i seeing things no i am not seeing things this is not straight at all oh good grief how did i get this so wrong oh ugh. how am i going to solve this one? Oh boy Oh, I'm not even going to think about it. Otherwise, I'm just going to get headaches. <laughs> it was 180, Mr. Molova. I saw 180. That's all that matters. <laughs> I probably missed it, but will you be streaming River Valley anytime soon? River Valley is gone, JN. I lost River Valley when my pc crashed last year well not it didn't crash when i deleted everything in my apps data folder and i was forced to reinstall the entire thing i lost river valley so there is no more river valley i had never created a backup of river valley i never created can you imagine the entire time that we're building and unfortunately i wasn't using cloud say steam cloud when i saved my my cities so because of that when when things went south <sighs> river valley went with and it went very far south so far south that it will never return again Reese says you you're the second City Skylines YouTuber to fall to the computer crash. Oh yes. Well, so I'm assuming you're referring to two dollars. His was a genuine crash. Mine was self-inflicted. Okay, so in my case, my PC didn't really crash. I was running out of space on my C drive. And so I decided to to do a cleanup. Now, in my wanting to do a cleanup, I got into the apps data folder and realized that there were a couple of applications that had saves in in there that I just couldn't understand why these things were there. So like apps, like applications that I had actually deleted or uninstalled and I, they still had folders in there. So I assumed, wrongfully so, in my mind that, oh, the apps folder must be a place where you know these apps store cached data so if i get rid of it it's not so bad so i picked an application or two and deleted a couple of of stuff and then booted up those applications and they worked perfectly fine they simply recreated what they needed and i was like oh cool sweet so it will just recreate what it needs and then in my head, I completely forgot that things like City Skyline saves data there. Things like Microsoft Office, Teams, all those things save stuff there. But in my haste and in my lack of patience, I went into my apps folder. I did a control A and I hit delete. Then all hell broke loose. Oh, and it broke loose bad. Anyway, 
I learned my lesson. <laughs> I learned a very, very painful lesson. Never again. Don't go messing around in the apps folder if you don't know what you are doing. Some applications use it as a as just a caching folder, whilst others store vital information in there. I'm looking for concrete brush. If it isn't saved in three places, then it doesn't exist at all. Here, here. Here, here. <laughs> Does anybody know which mod causes flying grandparents? <laughs> That's a nice question. I like it. That's a nice one. I like it. I like it very much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So now, now I am employing the three, the three point save. My PC and cloud. Well, is that three point two points? PC and cloud. PC and cloud. PC and cloud. But then I also copy from time to time from my c drive into i suppose my backup storage. so i guess that's my local that's my local storage you did yourself a really sweet job with deleting that folder indeed as an it guy i still get a chuckle whenever i think about that hey you know what after i did that it freed up 40 gigs on my c drive so i achieved what i wanted the outcome on the other hand well, well, should I rather say the <laughs> additional outcome, on the other hand, is not something that I had wanted. So, yeah, that's not cool. This is a lot of parking for this space, guys. I know, but I really don't care now. I really want to finish off the space and just move on. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm exhausted of building the same thing. So I just want this place to just come to an end. So that I can move on with, with building the city. I'm sure you must also all be tired of the same the same thing in live streams for so many. How long has it been? It's been so long. We've been streaming this. Yeah, it's been four it's been five weeks. This is the fifth week. It's ridiculous. I don't know who's ever going to use this path, but Maybe somebody will. Actually, the Sims actually will use this path. I remember Maddie, uh, leader of the monkeys, is her name. The she does a lot of the the city's live streams with with Helena. Said that the the paths, the footpaths, have a a speed limit of of infinity. And that's what makes the Sims always choose to use footpaths when they are closed by roads because they always they always register as a faster route for the Sims. So if you've ever wanted to know, there you go. Okay, that works. Kind of. Nah, I don't like the fact that there's a Oh, I won't be able to delete. That's what I... Oh, great. Whew. Oh, come on. Type slower, type slower. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the non... The propless one. The propless, propless, propless path. Propless, propless path. This is the one? No, this is the one. Yeah, propless. Okay. I do need to be able to get. Oh no! Ugh, come on, I unselected you, didn't I? Oh, I've got the wrong thing selected. Let's move you there, and hopefully I can still grab you. 
Yes, I can still grab you. Perfect, perfect. Oh, really? I can't get... Oh, there we go. I want to get to the point where we can see all the almost all the parking spots. And then I should then be able to do... Remove that. Grab the buildings and then... Oh, come on. And then to Terrain Heights. To Terrain Heights. There we go. Cool. Oh, I've missed a lot. Jeepers. Never put the game on C. Always put on D. The game isn't installed on my C. It's just the game default saves to C. And I don't, I can't change that if I'm not mistaken. As far as I know, you can't ch change the save location for City Skylines. Some, some applications you can change where they save uh, their data to. And those that I can't change, I change. But there are some that don't give you that option. Have you tried deleting the Win32 folder? I've thought about it, hey? Because I think it's it's using up so much space unnecessarily in Moldova. I must give that a try. I think it might help. Yeah, it helped speed things up 100%. Yeah, I'll give that a try and let you know how it turns out. Okay... And it says, I was playing City Skylines today and I had two questions for you. First, do I save before or after deleting the app data folder? Second, there are plain parking lot assets, but I can't find them. <laughs> uh, answer to the first question. I don't know. I'm not going there. Answer to the second question is, it's... Uh, I'll actually share a link. Hang on. Let me share a link for you on where to get the plane parking assets they call plane parking but they actually don't exist as plane parking on the workshop they are uh, what is it what is it called i know i i, I forget ultimate 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 parking lots or something like that. Ah, oh, no, I've lost it. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. But it's not actually called plain parking. It's called... It's called what? What is it? It's part of a collection by... Cre there. So you can check this out. Let's see. There we go. But this is not... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Realistic parking lots. So here you go, JN. These are part of a collection. Paste. JN, that's for you. They're part of a collection. They've got a whole bunch of parking lots in there. So you, they, basically all of these are in there and then some. So I didn't download all of them. I only downloaded the ones that I wanted, but you can see there's a whole bunch of them. They go as large as 10 by 5, I think. So yeah, you can check that out. Okay, hang on. Let me catch up on chat, people. Let me catch up on chat. Okay, so I've shared that with you. Umsiek. Umsiek says... Vitage? Vitage? I don't know if that's hello, but hello. <laughs> I've probably abused your name as well. I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, you can change the save location. For City Skylines, it's a Steam option. Oh, is it? I had no idea. I will look into that. Thanks, Bogdan. I will definitely look into that. Thank you so much. Uh, let me actually save. Actually, you're right. It's been a while since I saved. I think you have my favorite sarcastic tone. Me? Sarcastic? No. Come on. 
There's, there's no sarcasm in my bones. I don't know what you're talking about. I like that you know we roast you. <laughs> uh, roasting, some friendly roasting here and there. Eh, it's all good. Mm. Okay, got it. Yeah, Crazy Gluet, that's the name. Yes, the pack I was looking for. I am glad. I am glad. I am glad. I am glad. All right. Let's continue. Let's push on. We are almost done. We are almost done. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put this here. Pew, all the way. And then we're going to put down a couple of stain assets. Why is the game paused? Did I pause the game? I must have paused it by accident. I actually don't like playing the game when it's paused. Like you have people who build, like they'll build entire, entire like neighborhoods and stuff with the game paused. I could never do that. And the only reason I don't actually do it is because of the, 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 death flat problem that i would often experience so if you leave the game paused and you build entire neighborhoods then you have all these people moving at the same time and guess what 70 years from that moment all those people are going to die and your city is going to be flooded with death people and then you get that infamous city skylines death wave which i absolutely and completely hate with a passion So since then, I do not build with. Ugh, really, I don't build. Paused. I try and avoid it. I would definitely pause the game when I'm doing something that would like cause complete chaos, like terraforming near water. But if I am building. I leave the simulation to run. That should be enough space. Nope, that's not enough space. These ones must move to the side. Move to the side. We don't want the trams clipping through the bush. We don't want them clipping through the bush. Do, 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 do. Nope. Ah, you know what? Whatever. No, that's not fine. I know it will irritate me if I see the tram clip into the bush. Alright. That's cool. I'm gonna just put down some big trees around here. Doesn't come over, does it? Oh, it does come over. The trams will clip through that. So that won't be too good. So let's use. Let's just use that. All right. Oh, because I didn't build this stuff here anymore. This is no longer relevant. So we're going to take you and you. I'm going to copy you. Let's go down. Which is the best place to put you on this side? I think on this side works doesn't work so well for this one so i'm going to take this okay mm, doesn't work very well either for there oh no no i don't think this is gonna work or is it nah it's fine it will stay you are a legend, my man. I'm going silent now as I'm in bed. Have a good one, Mr. Molova. Thank you so much for joining us. Peaceful night's sleep. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy this roasting, the positive vibe. And sorry to say, the fact that chat isn't too busy makes these streams awesome. For example, to the attendee streams, the chat is just so busy. He can't reply to all. Yeah. I don't, it's a nice problem to have. 
if you think about it. <laughs> Jamale, I have to play paused due to my FPS. Ah, fair enough. Have you tried setting your settings? Well, I suppose if you set your settings to low, then the game doesn't look too good, hey? Or, you know, you probably won't enjoy the full visuals of the game. So that makes sense. Oh, I do need I do need it to terminate. I do need it to terminate. Oh no. Okay, wait. Let's bring this back. Oh no. No 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 no. What I wanted to do I have ruined by changing my plans without thinking about it. Uh, I've ruined what I wanted to do by changing my plans without thinking about it. And that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Let's put that here. This can come all the way back there. And it will kill that. Doesn't. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Coo, coo, coo. I'm glad. Thank you, thank you, thank you, JN. Super kind words. But trams clip the bushes in my cities. Somebody needs to go and actually trim those bushes. <laughs> I don't think trims are so, uh, trees are supposed to be... What am I even saying? I don't think trams are supposed to be clipping through bushes as they, they drive along. Hellboy13 says, Sanctum Gamer, what came out of the vanilla build poll you posted? Are you going to do it? I'm actually curious to see if you can see that through. So the the outcome of that is majority were not for vanilla. They were for vanilla with a touch of essential mods. So that was, that was the, the main outcome of it. So I am still thinking of a replacement for River Valley. And River Valley initially was meant to be a near vanilla build, which very quickly got out of control. So I am thinking of doing a near vanilla build using maybe just move it. Actually, if move it actually changes the game quite a bit because then you can like you can you can just ignore zoning. Right and put things nicely, but I suppose without plop the grapples, you really can't. So I don't know. I'll see. I'm. I want to use essential mods, but I don't know what is considered an essential mod for that. So that's something that I'm still, I'm still planning out. And I am considering building something on one of my my new maps, but I will see because at the same time. I I also want to build I also want to I've got like ideas for more maps that I want to build. So yeah. We shall see. Cool. We hide that away nicely. I'll just put a bush or two here as well. And then all I'll do is put a fence. I think I'll just put a fence here and then I am calling it. I am considering this area done. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, of course it's a ground conforming fence. Ugh. Bye. We'll use one of Sol Soldin Soldine. I don't know how you pronounce this person's name. But these fences too are amazing. If you don't if you haven't seen them. Hey. Oh, this is super long. Okay, there we go. This is the one that I'm actually looking for. Over there and over there cool and these are non-terrain conforming so you can actually get them lined up nicely the way you want and you know what i actually can't do this can i unless i 
unless I do that. Okay, there we go. Cool. That's that. As this building becomes more lively, in fact, let's make it more lively. This is part of the reason why I use these cafe assets a lot because it brings it brings in a lot of people to in and around the area. And that makes the whole place look a lot busier and it fills up the parking lots. Okay, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. I want to actually, I was thinking about letting the, the path follow along all the way to the side. But these buildings aren't tall enough for it, so I think I will leave it. Everybody, I think we have we have managed to actually fill up this whole space. Something that I didn't think I was going to be able to do, but we have done it. We need to make this path active, but I'll do that another day. I'm tired. It's like it's late now. It's almost 1 a.m. for me. So yeah, I think we have we have made a lot of progress. We've made a lot of progress. And we can consider this entire island officially complete. And let me do an actual save. I'm going to do whip. It's my work in progress. Save. And I think I think we are done. We can start finally start moving on with City of Tando again. Build episodes. Yay! Oh, what happened to chat? Uh, where am I? Okay. Uh, I hope there will be a City Skylines 2. Most of all the essential mods incorporated into the game. That would be nice, hey? But you gotta keep it. Part of the reason why a lot of these mods only exist in City Skylines is because of how CPU intensive they are. So if there is a City Skylines 2, it will have to seriously be targeting high-end machines to be able to run these sort of mods. And the moment you make a game that targets such high-end machines, you lose a large chunk of the user base. So you gotta keep that also in mind. But yeah, something like his Mao Bay series would be awesome. So essential mods and then just go for it. And on top of that, I hope they'll build new engines to optimize. Well, let's let's see what comes out. When you I don't know if you've seen I'm sure you've seen it, the oh, gosh, the Unreal Engine that they demoed for the that matrix that matrix thing. I forget. That looked pretty awesome. That looked pretty cool. So there is hope. There is hope. Sanctum Gamer, you don't use node refresh here because that intersection looks ugly. What intersection? I don't know which intersection. Oh, you mean, are you talking about node controller? And which intersection are you referring to? Are you referring to this one? I like my intersection. Leave my intersection alone. It's what you want. It's what you want. You want me to to shift it out, so that the 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 crosses the cross crosswalks are balanced. Is this what you want, Bogdan? Does this make you happier? Does this make you happier? There you go. I hope that makes you happier. <laughs> uh. Okay. Good morning from Japan. Good morning from South Africa. Oh, I can actually say good morning. It's officially good morning. That is true. Uh, please, Ved Vedland. You want to see the city? All right, I shall show you the city just now. One a.m. That's my time zone. So you are not in Australia. No, I'm not in Australia. I'm in South Africa. Okay, okay, haha, ha. I thought the accent was most of the Aussie, the tram, okay, this is much better than your previous bold Well, thank you, Jay Aladell. I'm glad you like it. I'm satisfied with the looks, I just want good multi 
core support city skylines now only uses yeah that's true that is true i hope they do have proper multi-core support if they do come out with a new version i also think that would be super cool you are still getting better SPS than I do. <laughs> I prefer it the other way myself. Made more sense like that, but each to their own. I do not know what you are referring to, Talenon. Uh, please slowly over the interchange, please. All right, so let's let's show off the city so that we can. All right, so here's where we are at. This is. Ooh city of tando it's nice and it's big this is like a lot it's a lot hang on i just want to check something i want to see if my shadow distance is where is it where's shadow distance can you do it shadow distance strength adjuster there we go oh it's not kicking in oh well all right so here's the city this is every single thing. Shadows are messed up. Like, look at this. The shadows disappear from this height. Come on. No, don't do this to me. I can't take pretty screenshots without. Oh, no, man. This is shadow. Ugh, I'm taking the wrong thing. I need to go to shadow distance fix. Come on, shadow distance fix. There we go. There we go. That's better. Now you get shadowing even from a fair distance mm, okay so you want to see interchanges bogged down so we've got this one this is the main interchange oh i think the shadow is too strong now hang on <laughs> i think i hope i did it let me just lower this a little bit because i'm feeling the fps so this is this main interchange in the city. Boom. Distributes it distributes traffic quite well, hey, if you check it. Like there is barely any traffic in this area. So I quite like how well it handles the traffic distribution to downtown, to the industrial, into this sort of slightly older part of town, into this area. I think it does a pretty good job. So yeah, so that's the main interchange. I've got this DDI, this diamond, divergent diamond. This idea actually came from Talanen. So thank you, Talanen, because he is a DDI fan. And then over here, this is prep work. So airport is going to be here within this area. We're going to probably do a bit of land reclamation when we build it because I want it to be huge big 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 so i am glad with the dlc we can do big and small airports so yeah you can look forward to that cool but that's it that's the city everybody we're going to call it a day that's everything we've done so far for city of tando ah yes i am i am tired i am going to probably have a 1am snack and then hit the sack mm, fps hitting you frame by frame it is it is you can i can feel it i can feel it from especially with the shadows set i can feel it a whole lot more if i kill the shadows it will be better uh can i ask you if you think a 360 square runway is realistic i have absolutely no idea i don't even know what that means <laughs> i really have absolutely no idea what that means i think it's too early it's too late too early for my brain to be operating so maybe ask me that next time let me go and find out what that even means okay everyone i think we're gonna call it quits now i think it's been it's been a good stream really appreciate everybody the chat was amazing loved all the input everybody was giving on things and it is 
it's time for me to sleep there very likely won't be a stream to next weekend next weekend i just want to take a bit of a break and just and chill so we'll be back at it the following week okay i bought your content creator map pack i love it awesome and thank you so much jano tan really appreciate that everybody thank you thank you thank you so much for joining the stream i hope you enjoyed it and thank you all for the support for watching the videos the streams the map packs i really appreciate it and i shall catch you all in the next one cheers everybody